On this episode of You Eat, we will be making veal chopped milanese with Italian style spring salad and a fresh basil vinaigrette dressing. Spend some time with your family and watch this recipe and make sure you watch to the end. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 34 of You Eat. As usual, I'm really excited to have you here and I really appreciate all your support. Today, we're going to be making one of my all-time favorites. It's a veal chopped milanese and we're going to serve it with a side salad. Now, the milanese basically just means it's just like a breaded cutlet. We're going to bread it, we're going to dip it in flour, egg, breadcrumb, and then we're going to pan fry it, and then uh, we're going to serve it with a nice, delicious salad. And then we're also going to make a fresh basil vinaigrette dressing to go along with that salad. I'm really looking forward and excited to make this veal chopped milanese. Are you ready to make some veal chopped milanese? Here we go. Print this and all our recipes on your eat.tv. We're going to first start by preparing our salad and then we'll place it in the refrigerator so it's nice and cold. I just got a spring mix and added some red onion and some cucumber. So this recipe is not about teaching you how to make a salad today. I'm sure you can make your own salad. Put whatever ingredients you like. I just used these particular ingredients and I will list them in the recipe. So I just cut up a couple of Campari tomatoes. I also added some yellow teardrop tomatoes, which add different texture, flavor, and color. As we continue to make our Italian style salad, we'll add some red roasted peppers. That looks like a rainbow and delicious. We'll add some Kalamata olives. And this is not very Italian, but I really like avocado with this salad. So we'll just split open this avocado. If you don't know how to split open avocado, you can just watch this real quick. Just wrap your knife around the avocado to the pit. Chop your knife into the pit. Give it a twist and remove the pit. And then you can just scoop out the avocado from the shell with a tablespoon. When choosing an avocado, you want your fingers to lightly embed into the avocado when you put a little pressure. After scooping out the avocado from the shell, we're just going to cut them into bite-sized pieces and we'll add that to the salad. And to finish preparing our salad, we'll add some fresh mozzarella. Oh, that looks so good. We're going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator. If you decide to prepare your salad way in advance, just wait to before service to add your avocado. So I added some light extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of canola oil. And we're going to add three cloves of garlic and we're going to brown them. We're going to need them for the egg wash and also for our vinaigrette dressing. This will also infuse the oil with the garlic that we're going to pan fry the veal chop in. Once your garlic is lightly brown, you can remove it and then we'll shut off the heat. So while the garlic was browning, I chopped up some parsley and I cracked three eggs into a bowl. And we'll add the parsley along with some Pecorino Romano cheese, salt and pepper, and one of the garlic cloves that we roasted. We'll chop that up and we'll add that to the egg wash as well. And we'll mix all these ingredients together. If you haven't noticed, I had my veal chop sitting on the countertop as we prepared the salad, so the temperature came down a little bit. We just seasoned with some salt. I went to pound the veal chop. Now, we're not pounding the veal chop to tenderize it because it's a very tender cut of veal. The reason why I like to pound this is that you get a great texture, it's a little bit thinner, and it's a lot bigger and looks great on the plate. Now, I've mentioned this on previous episodes. When tenderizing the meat, you want to make sure that you gently pound it. You don't want to pound it so hard that you can see through. I also like to pound and try to push as I go from the center to the edges. Now at this point, I'm going to trim off some of the fat. I'm taking most of the fat off the edges. Anything in the center, I do not want to touch too much because I like to keep it intact. And then what we'll do is we'll just give it one more light pounding to even it out. Our veal chop is ready for frying. But before we do that, we're going to make our fresh basil vinaigrette dressing. We're going to make one cup of dressing. So I added six ounces of extra virgin light olive oil and two ounces of red wine vinegar. So that's three parts of oil and one part vinegar. I added a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. 
And lastly, I added a cup of fresh basil. We're going to blend that for a few seconds. And emulsify it together. And we'll place this delicious dressing in the refrigerator until we're ready for it. Okay, we're ready to fry our veal chop. So we're going to completely coat it with all-purpose flour. And now we'll dip it into the egg wash and make sure it's completely coated. Don't forget to turn on the flame to medium to high to reheat up the garlic infused oil. So once you got your veal chop completely coated in the egg wash, we're going to completely coat it with the breadcrumbs. Now I use seasoned breadcrumbs. You can use unseasoned, you can use panko, you can crush up crackers, you can use whatever kind of breading you like. Okay, we're ready to fry this. Let me just clean up this work area a little bit. So you want to grab the veal, chop by the bone, and place it in the oil away from your body. You want to make sure you have enough oil to at least coat half the veal chop. After lightly browning on one side, about one to two minutes, we'll just flip that over and we'll lightly brown it on the other side. And then we're going to put it in the oven for about five to ten minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, the veal chops out of the oven, the salad is out of the refrigerator, and I'm adding about three tablespoons of my fresh basil vinaigrette dressing to this already awesome salad. All you have to do is give it a good toss and adjust any seasoning, and we're done and getting ready to put this on the plate. To finish off our recipe, we're going to add some shaved Pecorino Romano cheese. And the very last touch is some balsamic glaze. This is looking really good. And that's it. We are done. Veal Chop Milanese with Italian style spring salad and fresh basil vinaigrette. You eat? You want to eat? Make this recipe. It's delicious. Okay, that wraps up our veal milanese. Um, not super difficult. Now, we breaded some chicken. When we made our chicken palm, it's very similar breading. Um, but this veal, I mean, you can do this with cutlets, you can do this with chicken. This is really delicious. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. We'll be back with a new recipe next week. And uh, don't forget, I'm traveling to go see my mom in Florida. And we're going to whip up some really nice recipes while we're there. So stay tuned for a quick short, and we'll see you next week. I'm glad you came, Mike. I hope we can straighten everything out. I'm going to straighten everything out tonight. Uh, he's a good kid. No New Jersey? Maybe. How's the Italian food in this restaurant? Good. Try the veal. It's the best in Jersey. I'll have it. Come eat. What I want is that I have to go to the bathroom. Is that all right? You're gonna go, you're gonna go. Here's an offer you shouldn't refuse. Subscribe to this channel.